There's a few ways to survive this motherhood thing, especially as your children exit the baby years and start getting smarter and smarter. One of them is blackmail. Another is just plain old threats. Sometimes we actually remember some child psychology advice and we get down to their level, we lower our voices and calmly talk to them and they actually listen. But how often does that really happen? Most of the time, or at least half the time, parents lie. We know you do it. We're all a bunch of liars. It starts off pretty early, right? Yes, like when you take your toddler's pacifier away and they come to you with these tears in their eyes, like you've taken the air from their lungs and you tell them, oh, a birdie came and took it away. And it continues with the tooth fairy, for some of us Santa Claus, and if you're South American, the three wise men. Us parents have a real knack for concocting weird and wonderful characters to fool our children. But just imagine if the tooth fairy were an actual stranger, right? Walking into your child's room at night and rummaging with their pillow and things that would get really weird really fast. Mm -hmm. And then comes the conversation about the birds and the bees. Oh, and those storks that drop the babies? What is it with our obsession with winged creatures? Oh, and the way that we fool them into eating all kinds of stuff that our parents would never have dreamed of putting on our plates. Like broccoli cheese bites, quinoa dark chocolate chip pomegranate cookies, and how about those smoothies filled with spinach, kale, and parsley with just a smidge of organic apple juice. We also lie because we're terrified of hurting their fragile feelings how else are they ever gonna have any self-esteem left? And then they go and they get like a C on their math test and they come home and they're all upset and you say, oh, it's okay, you tried your best. Liar. And then they come home and they tell you that Bobby made fun of their outfit and you're like, that's okay, just go ahead and be an individual. Just love yourself, baby. Liar. Liar. Then you look at them and you realize they dress themselves with a checkered shirt, polka dot shorts that are way too small for them, and Paw Patrol Crocs with socks. And then you lie about the almighty consequences. First warning, you have to eat the food on your plate. And they don't. Warning number two, if you don't eat that food, I'm gonna take away all your Shopkins. They still don't. I'm gonna hold hostage those Shopkins and your Beyblades if you don't eat what's on your plate. And they don't care. So you take them away for a full week and no TV. But of course, the next morning, they're watching cartoons because you want to catch some extra Z's. The toys are still in the playroom and your cauliflower pizza with vegan cheese is still on the plate. Finally, we become such masters of deceit that we lie to ourselves. The diet starts on Monday. Just one more bite of chocolate cake. I'm just gonna watch a few more minutes of my show before I go to sleep. Three hours later, I think we need to give ourselves a pat on the back for the creativity for coming up with this stuff. Right, it's genius. Cause we don't like to make anyone angry or sad. We like to survive. We lie because we want to keep sane and because we want to make others happy. You are so right. Because seriously, as long as your lies are not hurting your kids or your partner or anybody else, you're good to go. You're doing a great job. Guys, if you like this video, please share it with all your other lying mommy friends and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Bye.